currently, this is my first semester at Moorpark College. Uh, I graduated from Thousand Oaks High School, class of 2016. I'm taking five classes. My plan is to go through Moorpark, get all my general education out of the way, get my 60 transferable units. I can go into prosthetics, I can go into orthopedics, I can get into pharmaceuticals if I really want to. There's a lot of options that I just didn't really know about until I went to Moorpark. Joshua's performance in school is um, spectacular. Um, he's doing very well. Uh, he got accepted into the GPS program at Moorpark College, which I'm very proud of. About 1,500 kids out of 5,000 were accepted into, and he was one of them. So I am very uh, excited and proud of him being part of that. So my parents are administrators for an assisted living home for the elderly in Granada Hills. We started over there in 2002, early 2003 with a six bed facility. And then around 2007, 2008, we came over here to Thousand Oaks and we opened up another facility. Like this business, like even though I'm, you know, I'm working and cleaning and just constantly like, seems like I'm picking up after somebody, it's, it's not necessarily like that because it's, I'm getting to know our residents on a more social level. When I tell them about all the stuff that I'm doing, it's they're pushing me up when I'm like kind of drowning in the sea of doubt, I, I would say. They offer that reassurance. With that constant support from not just my family, but from others, like my friends who say like, hey man, I think you know you work hard and I, I, like I aspire to be just like that and you're like a good role model. And for me, that's definitely something um, that I fall back on and only pushes me to go higher. One of my main stressors is being on call because I really don't know how much time I have to myself to do what I need to do. Because if when I'm going to school, going to class, and I come home, like, okay, I gotta devote this much time to homework, I have to study, I have to maybe try to get ahead, I want some free time to myself to decompress. But um, being on call, is it's difficult for me because I don't know what time I'm gonna have to sacrifice. For me, music and dancing is more how I decompress or is my outlet, I would say. I usually what I like to do in my free time is go on like yuku tabs or ukulele tabs and you know learn a couple songs, just you know anything that catches my eye. In high school I was involved in uh, several things. I was, in, I was I'm a four-year choir member, I'm a four-year um, all-male hip-hop team member of the Thousand Oaks um, all-male dance team. I was their captain my senior year and then I'm also a uh, last year's 2016 improv hip-hop soloist. I know what definitely has kept me positive is knowing that there's someone that's, um, you know, constantly got my back. There's like, there's a support system behind me that that's constantly saying, you know, you can do it, I believe in you, you can strive for these goals. I